Yeah, man, we're back in here, man. The turntables just got taken over, man. DJ Planet Asia in the building, man. Go PA, go PA. <laughs> yeah, man, you got that cut. You, you could tell he's, you know, those, those have been built up. Like he's been waiting to unleash them new cuts. Mr. Planet Age on the ones and twos, man. We also got DJ FM right here as well. Yeah. Actually wanted to ask you while he's cutting it up. Yeah. You meant Holy that shit joint we played earlier. You mentioned that was off of the, the Stray Bullet album, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a joint called yeah. Ceremonial Slang uh-huh. with Sid Jack and Planet Asia that I produced for uh, Stray Bullets. And it's a compilation album that Jack put out a few years back. So yeah, yeah, it's a cool collab, man. I, I didn't know who Jack had to, uh, to put on there, and I handed it to Jack to, you know, to work on. And he said, "Yeah, I got Asia for this joint, and it's fuck, it's a dope match, man. Yeah, yeah. Killing this shit, sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, as far as production, what do you been working on, my G? Um, I've been working uh with Left 4 Dead, and it's uh, you know, it's underground shit, straight music. It's a mix of New York and LA. It's my man, I man from Long Beach, part of the Mexican. Got some history here, but uh, he's living in New York and he's been working out there with uh, different musicians and producers and shit. And uh, he's got a new album coming out. He did a Left 4 Dead album last year. Uh, kind not, of like a not attempt to like adjust shit down. It was then, like an introduction to yeah, the Left 4 yeah, Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and he's non-stop, man. That guy's just always putting out music. But uh, he hit me up and not uh, to, to be a DJ for the down. group, and I said, yeah. So I started rocking with Left 4 Dead, and I gave him a few beats. So on the new album coming out, I think now in May, in May or next month, not attempt to adjust uh, down. I got like three joints on there produced by myself. That's hard. We just finished recording a video for one song uh, a couple days ago, which was pretty dope. I man's a really talented dude, man. I oh, met him yeah. back in the day when we did that photo shoot with Big Pun. Do not attempt to adjust the one and with, uh, Yeah, and Fat Joe yeah, and uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Funk Dude. Do not attempt to adjust yeah, All the Latino rappers. That was class. That, that yeah, photo was classic. Yeah, it was for yeah. Industry Insider. The dude yeah. that, uh, yeah. Chang, the guy that does uh, paid I bought that magazine because of that cover, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit was hard, young, So young, I, I noticed this back then, and I knew that he was... Uh, Collaborating with rock musicians. He used to be a lead singer in a group called uh, Capital I. There you go. And that shit was really dope, man. I got to perform with him in a couple uh, smokeouts and shit like that. So we were kind of climbing, and I don't know what happened with them, but they kind of disappeared. And then, I, you know, me and, and, uh, and Psycho were doing our thing. But now, me and him linked up on, on Left 4 Dead, and I asked him to show my new group with something I'm working on called American Bastards. And uh, being that he's that rock hip hop motherfucker like me, I asked him to be a part of this shit, and he's he's dope, man. To he's, he's it. It, it makes sense. I was, I was just gonna say, speaking on that though, it's like um, I knew you guys knew each other for a while, but it really makes a lot of sense that like you're the DJ for the Left 4 Dead group. And, like it just ties them both together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and to me, it is because and I heard the music too, but not a lot of hard shit. Yeah, you know, so. yeah, he's a talented dude, man. I'm excited to be working with him, man. I got. I got a lot of good shit and, and that's the thing with you the, co- the you know the few times you have been through um, it, it's either you know something like it's hip hop or rock related or both tied in uh, I, I, I remember I first met drum rap through when you brought him yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he tore it up they did a mashup him on the turntables and, and drum rap on the live drums we had a set right here he brought his set yeah. well, and that that was dope bro. yeah I grew up listening to the rock first as a kid uh, I played guitar. Not that was the first instrument my mom put me to play and shit. I, I learned to rock music, you know what I mean? That's why when I performed with Psycho Rome, I was doing flips off the speakers and all that sh- my shit, because yeah, I was always feeling that, that rock element, right? I wanted to bring that DJ shit to the like, hip-hop stage. I always thought, you know, rappers, it, it, it's, it's fun. I love hip-hop, man, but I want to see that, that public enemy kind of power on stage, you know what I mean? So that's why I was doing fucking, you know, crazy stage antics and shit. Hey, man, that, <laughs> but it all it all ties in, bro, and that's how I'm, I'm sure the production side is influenced a lot by, by the rock side, too. Big time. Right? Yeah, yeah, my beats all have that kind of rock element, man. There's a few dudes I know like that, like Ill Bill, that got that vibe, yeah. too, man. And I, I love that shit, dog. Yeah. Make it so, you know, heavy. Yo, dark F, shit. thank you for letting me get on them two times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Felt like a kid again. Hey, I don't lie, man. He's got good 
and he was doing it. He wasn't faking it. He like, that's why you doing it. That's why when we were talking, I was tripping out. He was really killing it in the back. Yeah, some motherfuckers be faking it, but he wasn't faking it. He was doing it. Really cutting, you know. And I have actually did scratches on some of my records. Facts. I can play. I can put it if y'all. We can find it if you want to. That's commendable, bro. Um, uh, what was it called? Mixtape mass. Mixtape massacre. Mixtape massacre. Holy I read their music shit. like I like. It was like some rock him shit, but I um did the cuts on it. That's dope, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. I got a beat tape coming out too soon. But it's gonna be very expensive because it's my first beat tape, so I'm just keeping it oh, wide. Oh shit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's my first. Yeah. It's gonna say, like, yeah, it's That's gonna cost if you wanna get it, but um it's fire. I got one so I got a song on it too that, that I rhyme. Oh, it's fire. The song I rhymed on that I produced is crazy. Watch you got here. Yeah. You're gonna be like, this shit is fire. That's off one of the new ones coming out. Nah, soon? nah, nah, nah. This is this shit costs too much money. Oh, uh, 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 okay. Yeah, I mean? okay. yeah that would be an collective. exclusive joint. Yeah, cause it's my yeah. Pla it's Planet Asia production. Like I produced it, sequenced by my man Noy from Dirty Digs. He helped me sequence the joint. Like you know, guide me with the, you know it was, he gave me the training wheels on the MP, and I was going stupid, doodle dumb, and all my beats is different. Every last single one of them to this day. No, <laughs> so, so you're gonna start doing uh, uh, more of that now too, man? Um, not, not to, I'm not gonna produce for okay. nobody. Uh, <laughs> these beats are just exclusive, right? There. They just for when I do them. If you happen to be there, and you, you you can get on the song. But I'm not sending beats out and shit like that. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I, t I give I I, I, I give uh, too much praise to uh, real producers. But when I make it, it's so rare and funky that. Yeah, it's worth it. Well, and plus, you'll yeah. just, you know, rip the bars on it anyway. Yeah, so it's anyway, fired. Right in the pocket and shit. But it's all kind of styles. I'm excited. You see how excited I got about that? <laughs> but I'm serious. It's yeah, dope, though. Yeah. I got this one joint on there. It's like some 19 fucking, boy, wait, wait, I was about to say some 1800, but nah. It's like some 19 fucking, what, what year was that you think that shit was? Like 60s? Nah, that's before that, G. The way that shit sound, that shit was like 19 fucking, I don't know, whenever phonographs was made, man. It's like, I, I remixed one of they, one of them songs and put my beat behind it, the cuts, and I, yo, my, my technique is too ill. I scratch the sample over the shit. I, the, the way I produce my shit sometimes is different. I don't just do everything through an NPC. I do, I do my beats raw. Like, I'll, the, I'll strip shit to the bare minimum as far as like I'll make my, I'll make a drum beat and then I'll cut my own sample over it and keep cutting the sample over it instead of sampling it. Live, I'll live instead of looping I have, it. I have certain songs yeah. where I, that's me cutting the sample over the shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. So For that, all you producers out there. That uh, authentic production by Planet A Planet Asia Productions. That sounds yeah, cause good. Yeah, because a lot of y'all just because a lot of people just want to get it over with. I like to see what it's gonna sound like if if you do certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like in this era, like yo, try all that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Mix all that shit up. Everything don't gotta. Everything don't gotta be the same. You know, you know, and then and then the way kind of like how you were mentioning different styles of, of music and stuff now, I think it's, uh, I, I mean, not that it wasn't before to a certain extent, but I think you're, uh, it's like allowed a little more freedom in, in, uh, in, in being creative, I guess yeah, you could man. say. The way you deliver, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And when, we old enough to know kind of like yeah. most of the styles from freak beats yeah. to... Uh, house music to jazz to you know techno, standard hip hop uh, yeah, yeah techno hip hop all that shit it's all in hip hop so you can kind of it as an MC that doesn't make beats you can fuck around and stumble and end up in one of those genres because it's in you and you didn't even know it was there you know hey, and you've been around like you've been in so many studios over the years that yeah but I'm I don't sure know you, shit. Well, I but, I, but I'm, I'm sure not even you, say it front. You, 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 you've absorbed, I'm sure, a lot, even if you weren't. Oh, if no. You weren't, you As know a producer, yeah, yeah. I will definitely say, when it comes to production and shit, I know how to, I know what I want, and I know how to convey that in the studio and get it done, you know, even if I'm not the one actually pushing the buttons. But I actually push the buttons on this shit. But I'm saying I know what I want to hear in my music. And even I give pointers to all, all kind of people, like, yo, maybe you should do this or try this. Uh, the Golden Buddha album is 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 produced by Izzy Nice, but it's co-produced by me because certain songs might have sounded certain things, and I took I told him to take this out and leave this in, 
and well, it was a totally different song. I remember that. when you came in to talk about it, you you mentioned how like hands on you were on that pro- on yeah, that project. Yeah. It was all like hell like magnetic PA, lord but, and all that. And, and just certain joints and you know we had live instrumentation on that shit not corny you know but like blended in you know what I'm saying properly you don't know if it's a sample or not I got joints where people swear it's a sample and it's not even a sample you know what I mean authentic that's how you do that uh, uh, pop shit right there like man like that hey so uh, before we uh, you know end and all that stuff uh you got any joints we could probably play or something? We'll, we'll get into a video real quick. Oh, uh, shit. What you want to play? If, uh, if you got some, we could, we'll, we'll, you know, rock um, out it. You got the initials on my jewelry album, man? My new album? Initials on my jewelry? No, you don't have that. Oh, you don't have fucking have it. You got, well, you got Golden Buddha? Play Magnetic Lord if you got Golden Buddha. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that in a second. Play whatever, we'll, man. We'll play play whatever quick, the hell you want to play. Shit. We'll play a quick video. I got video. enough music. I know you got something. We'll play a quick video before, because uh, we got to come back, do your shout outs, let them know what's coming next, because uh, yeah. I know you got some shows and all that, too. And, and you, shows. like, stay rocking shows, too, man. That's Not really, but I'm doing it. <laughs> if it hey, man, they're out there. They want to see We're working on it. We coming, I'm coming to a city near you, town near you. You know what I mean? Make sure you, uh, you know, request them in a city near you. Make it come quicker. Hey, uh, we'll be right back after this video, man. Planet Asia in the building, DJ FM. Me. 